Princess Polly. It's one of the projects in the week six story time to go pack. Farms? Farms, you're right, just like our song and just like the chicken on my head. Oh. I thought we could share with our story time friends how to make one. It's fun to pretend with hats. It is. So from your week six story time to go pack, you're going to need your brown oval. You're gonna want your scented strip, your feathers, the red piece of paper, the yellow piece, and then we have eyeballs with the white piece and the black piece. You're gonna need some scissors, glue stick, and a pencil. So the first thing you can do is you can, or your child can cut out the oval, and you can talk a little bit about the shapes and why it's not exactly a circle. Mm -hmm. And I've already cut one out already. And then we're going to trace our child's hands on the red paper. You're gonna do both the right and the left. Princess Polly, do you wanna put your hand on the paper? Sure. All right, and if you want your child to cut out their hand, you can make it a little bit extra roomy as you trace around, so it's a little bit easier for them to cut. Right. It is a very advanced cutting skill, so if your child is two or three, I would say do it for them, but you can help guide them if they're four or five and, and are, are experienced with scissors. So as we already have some cut out, and you're going to affix them to your brown oval, just like so. For the wings. Yes, for the wings, that's right. And you can even move them and flap like a chicken. And then you can add the feathers and the beak and the eyes, just like on my hat. When it's all glued together, attach it to your sentence strip, wrap it around your child's head, and then you can add a paper clip or you can staple it together to hold it in place. It's that simple. Fun. And we can pretend and make noises of farm animals. That's right. And I thought we could end with the chicken dance. Do you know the chicken dance? Oh, yes, I do. All right, are you ready? Here we go. everyone it's miss terry and miss tammy and we're here to talk about some piggy fun in your week six story time to go pack imagine your story if you lived on a farm and for the piggy start we're gonna get our story time to go sheet the first sheet and the five pigs so squeaky clean is on the back side of that front page and then you're also going to want your pig sheet and if you notice when you flip them over the pigs get dirty because they oh. sure like the mud so they start out squeaky clean and then they get dirty. dirty. So you're gonna to wanna to cut these out and then you can lay them down in a row of five for your child. But you can also just use your hands for this one as well. So we're gonna do the first verse for you so you can get an idea of what it, how it goes. And this tune again is the popular Five Little Speckled Frogs. All right, go ahead, Miss Tammy. Five pigs so squeaky clean, cleanest pigs you've ever seen, wanted to go outside and play in the mud. And have your child yell that out, in the mud. One jumped into the mud, landed with a great big thud. Now there are four pigs squeaky clean, oink, oink. And each time when he jumps in the mud, you can just flip the pig over so they can see the mud. Yep, and you can do some counting and you can do some adding and subtracting as the pigs get clean and dirty. And be silly. Be Very loud, silly. be silly and have fun with it. Yeah. And then the other part of the pigs is we can make our own muddy pig. For this project, you're going to want your pig printout, the bag that your story time to go pack came in, and then your mixture of shaving cream and brown paint. It is not a hot fudge sundae. That's right, don't eat it. <laughs> and we're gonna put the pig inside the bag. And we're gonna take a spoonful of the brown paint with the shaving cream, dab it on. Now you probably won't need your whole cup. This is a great way to do some finger painting without actually getting very messy. It smells good. And you don't have to seal it entirely. Just take those fingers and smush. Oh, that and is one smush. muddy pig. They can mix, they can take one finger at a time, use those muscles and mix the white with the brown. You can talk about the colors and what's happening and spread it all over that pig. You can also have some fun making some shapes in the mud with their fingers. Yes. Yeah, you can 
draw their letters because it just feels super squishy and fun. Right? right? All right, and then once they've all finished making their pig muddy, you're just going to take some scissors and you're just going to cut your bag. We're going to cut down both sides. And what this does is just allow you to lift it off without smearing it all off, taking it out yeah. of the bag. And then I'm just going to pull it. There you go. And then we're going to pull it up and let it dry. And then if you want, your child could cut out around the pig or you can just put it up on your fridge. And it smells wonderful. <laughs> Enjoy your piggy projects. And there's more. It's Miss Terry and Miss Tammy again. And we're still on the farm. That's right. And we would like to show some of the garden map games that are included in your week six story time to go pack. And for this game, you're going to want to have your garden sheet, your seed cards, which you want to cut apart into individual pieces, and then also your flower and vegetable markers, which you also want to cut apart into individual pieces. So parents, you might want to get that ready ahead of time so that you'll be ready to play. In order to play this game, you're gonna take your seed cards and lay them face down on the table and then have your child pick one of the cards. So it will be a surprise. And they will pick one. And this is where you can identify. You can talk about the object, the colors, and then count the seeds. And then you want to match. And you can say, is this a matching pair? No. We're looking for a green bean or a pea pod. Then how many do we need? One, two, three. So they can pick three and plant it in the row. One, two, three. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it better. And then you can put this aside. And then they can pick a new seed card and fill their garden. Well, this is a wonderful math, math and language activity for your children. And some children might be a little bit too small for this. If you feel your child is not ready for some of these math games and, and literacy games that we have in the take home story time packs, please just put them aside because we want them to be successful. We want them to want to have fun with it, but some might not be ready. So just put them aside, make a binder and you'll have so many resources to play when it is time for them. And won't it be fun to be thinking about gardening when the snow starts to fall? <laughs> they can play it later. But it's a, uh, games like this are important for just the interaction between each other, taking turns. They, lose, they have so many self-regulation skills and social sk emotional yeah. skills too when they're playing games with the loved one. And not just taking turns, but even just waiting for their turn. Waiting. It can be very difficult and it's something that they need to practice. And they need to celebrate because yes. it's hard. Yes, excellent. So enjoy your garden map games. Have fun. Storytime to Go packs are available beginning Monday, June 15th. There'll be a new pack each week. Follow our curbside delivery procedures, which can be found on our website at www.lesterlibrary.org. And grown-ups, don't forget your library card. We can't wait to see you.